Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 11th SaaS tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the content keyword. <laughs> All right then dude, so what is the content keyword? Well, it's quite hard to explain, so I think it's best to go through an example, but in a very small nutshell, the content keyword subs in styles from your rules and puts those styles wherever it finds the content keyword. Now, like I say, that probably sounds like a lot of gobbledygook, so I'm gonna go through an example and then it will become clear. So what I'm gonna do is make a new mixing, and this mixing is gonna control the media queries, and this is a cool trick we can do with SAS. Normally, when we create media queries, we're creating them all over the show uh, for elements to change at different widths. And this little trick just kind of keeps them in one place and then keeps your little media queries together with the rules. And that's going to make sense in a minute. So what I'll do is come down here and make a new mixin, which is going to control these media queries. So I'll say at mixin, and I'm just going to call this MQ for media query. And this is going to take in a variable. I'm just going to call that arg, and that stands for arguments. All right, so inside this mixing, I need to create a media query. So I'll say at media and then screen and, and this is just a basic media query, max width is gonna be whatever we pass through here, this variable. So I'll copy that and I'm gonna paste it in. And then in here is what the rules would be, okay, at that particular media query. So if we're gonna use a media query on a specific element, say for example, we wanna change this banner at 800 pixels. What we'd do is we'd call this mixing on the banner element and we pass in 800 pixels, right? Then it's gonna set up this media query for us on that element and set the max width to 800 pixels. Then we can add in our styles inside this media query. But how do we do that? Because we don't want to add the specific styles for this banner in this mixing because we're going to be calling this mixing for various different elements, not just this banner, okay? So the way we get around it is by using the content keyword, so it's at content. And then that's all we need to do for this mixing because when we call this mixing on the element that we want to change at a particular width, then we're going to specify what content we want to pass in here, okay? So let's go to our styles.css. I'm just going to save this file first of all and then we'll head over to styles.css. And then I think what I want to change are these li tags right here. So currently when we get smaller like this, the li tags are going to shrink together and look a little bit squashed. What I want to do instead is stack them one on top of another. So what I'll do is I'll come to these li tags inside the main nav and I'll request that mixing we just made. So to do that, we know we have to say include, then the mixing name, which is MQ. And remember, we pass through a variable, which is going to be the width at which point we want to change, the width of the media query, okay? So I'll say 600 pixels. So at 600 pixels, I'm gonna call in this uh, media query. And then, remember I said we had this content keyword right here, well, Whatever we put within this code block right here after the include, that goes into this section right here, this content. So it subs it in. And that way we don't have to define it within this mixing itself. We can just define it on the element and then that is brought in when we use that mixing. So it doesn't matter what element we're using it on, whatever styles we add to that element at a particular media query, they're gonna be brought in to this content keyword. So that makes it really cool. We don't have to keep writing out these media queries. So let's just keep this simple and say width 100%. That's gonna make them all stack on top of each other. So I'm gonna save that and then we'll come over here and reduce this in width and hopefully, there we go, at 600 pixels, we get them stacked on top of each other like that. Now, fair enough, that doesn't look great, but I'm just demonstrating a point here. We'd probably add more stars so that it went to some kind of mobile navigation, a drop down or something, but I'm just demonstrating what we can do with this content keyword, and this is a really cool example. We can create a really simple media query mixing, which is dynamic and can insert your own content from wherever you call it, okay? So that's really cool. So now whenever we want to add a media query onto an element, all we have to do is this little mixing on whichever element we want to apply it to, and it's gonna take care of all the heavy lifting for us, all right? 
So we're going to dive a little bit deeper into this into the next tutorial where I'm going to introduce the if keyword and we're going to pass through some more parameters to this mixing. So any questions so far, ask those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.